Hello everybody, Steve Politi, Ryan Dunleavy, Keith Sargent here at High Point Solution Stadium. Very important win for the Scarlet Knights today. 31-24 came down to the very last drive that uh, you know, Ross Douglas, linebacker, said he thought he was on the field for about six hours <laughs> or six minutes, but not forever and ever and ever. Uh, still, ball fell down on fourth, fourth down. A team that lost 16 straight Big Ten games is now won three and a fourth. It's a nice story. What a difference. I mean, thinking back to the Ohio State game September 30th, you know, just what a difference in the feeling makes three of the last four. A lot of it, you have to, even though the numbers are never pretty, you know, Gio Rochino, there's something to him. You know, all he does is win games. He, you know, it's not pretty. I talked to him after the game. He, he said, like, it, you know, it doesn't matter. He could throw for 20 yards as long as they get the win. Right. And he, I think he meant it. They have a winning formula. It's smart quarterback play where he doesn't turn the ball over. It's pound the ball on the ground. And it's defense make big plays despite – if pretty soon me you the three of us that's are going to be in the second half. Yeah. So the defense makes big plays, they run the ball, and they make smart decisions with the quarterback. That's their winning formula. So. It's, and the, the big plays in the defense. This is the the stat I think is the most amazing stat of the year. Kai Hester now has two touchdowns, oh, is which is game. as many as all of the receivers in the, in the program combined. Okay. Which is I mean, if you think about that, and that, and that was the big that was the big play interception, fifty two yards, run it back for score. You know, that Rutgers is using two converted receivers back, back there now. And right. second, it might be another one of KJ Gray's hurt. Right. I mean, you can't say enough about the way that they've kind of pieced that thing together. Yeah, I, that, that's super impressive. And actually, I thought that you said the big play of the game. To me, I thought the most fascinating point of the game was the fourth and one, mm -hmm. where there's a terrible call by the refs, horrendous call by the ref. Ash says the team might have folded earlier this year, let alone last right. year, if that happened. And instead, the defense holds them to a field goal. The offense has two long drives after that. And the crowd, I, I, great I, we're, crowd. we're hard on the crowd. There were 34,000 people yes. here. It certainly seemed less. But that place was loud. They were loud. Their booing was loud. The players heard it. They mentioned it. I really think that's won the game. No, there's no question about it. it was, and, and uh, you know, and there were just a couple of great stops on defense. Yeah. You know, a, a, a stop the quarterback on a, on, a, on a third down run to punt. I mean, you know, this is the kind of team win that we've been talking about with this program. No doubt about it. And people are going to look. I asked Chris Ash after the game about possibly go, going to a bowl game. I knew. I thought you were, he, he looked at you like it was a yeah, it was like a, exactly. A four he was letter. having a nice night to that bowl. <laughs> it's, it's a four-letter word, bowl. <laughs> right. so it's, it's not a different four-letter word. But yeah, he wanted no part of it. I don't blame him. Penn State a week from now. Penn State has lost two in a row. They're going to be hungry. It's probably going to be a buzz, you know buzz saw. But you know, beyond that, Indiana hasn't won a game yet. As I spelled out this week, I'm telling you guys, five and seven. Don't count this team out for a bowl game at five and seven. Hey, it would just be nice to be five and six and have a chance in that last week to see what yeah to see what yeah. happens. And then you're great with Indiana's not very good the position I, to be there. I mean, no one thought that was going to happen. Of course not. And but I got to tell you, pessimistic Ryan. <laughs> Can you imagine if they beat Eastern Michigan? I mean, and with every win they get, yeah, it's like, great, congratulations. But what about that Eastern Michigan? Yeah. It's, it's like the big what if hanging over there. Uh, only, only because if they would have won that game, I'd be 9-0 in my pick. No. Right now I'm 8-1. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm 5-4. <laughs> like Ryan's not going to the bowl game. I'm going to leave you home. All right, signing off from uh, a happy High Point Solutions Stadium. Thanks for watching.